look up. Comet 12P Pons Brooks is heading straight for us, and it has an epithet that gives us chills. The Devil's Comet is one of the brightest and most impressive comets of our time. All eyes are turned eagerly to the night sky. Anyone who gets to see it will probably only witness this spectacle once in a lifetime, as this heavenly messenger only visits us every 71 years. The icy beautiful object does not officially pose any danger, but some sources associate the rising of comets with apocalyptic or very happy times. Are we on the brink of a catastrophe with the visit of 12 P. Pons Brooks, or can we look forward to a surprise? Comets are among the most fascinating celestial bodies. They are cosmic balls of snow and dust, which when they come close to the sun, develop a shell or coma and sometimes one or more tails of gas and dust. These tails shine brightly due to the reflection of sunlight and the ionization of their gases and can glow in wonderful colors. Their unpredictable orbits and breathtaking visual appearances make comets objects of great interest to ordinary people, and they naturally arouse scientific curiosity in a special way. 12P Pons Brooks is a periodic comet, which means that it is visible from Earth at regular intervals. Its return every 71 years has enabled generations of astronomers to document its development and changes over time in great detail. We now know quite a lot about the physical and chemical processes that take place within these icy visitors from the outermost regions of the solar system. Nevertheless, the celestial phenomena remain mystical moments that simply amaze us. Is this the devil in disguise? People have wondered, since time immemorial, whether comets have a special influence on the Earth or our psyche. Some claim that this is the case with the full moon. Others say it's nonsense. In ancient times, the rising of comets was associated with major events, such as the fall of kingdoms or the beginning of wars or the death of important personalities. Others believed that these celestial phenomena could predict good or bad luck, fertility or crop failure. Modern astronomers do not believe in such ideas at all. In the end, it probably depends on each individual how he or she judges such a once-in-a-lifetime event. This much is certain. You may only see 12 P. Pons Brooks once in your life, maybe twice if you start out as a young stargazer and reach a truly blessed age. The last time 12 P. Pons Brooks visited Earth was 71 years ago. That's also when it got its name. 12 P. Pons Brooks stands for the discoverers of the comet. The name Pons refers to Jean-Louis Pons, a French astronomer who discovered several comets in his lifetime. Brooks refers to William Robert Brooks, an American astronomer who also discovered several comets. The number 12P is a catalog number. P stands for periodic, and the number indicates when the comet was first sighted. 12P Pons Brooks is a comet with pronounced cryoactivity. This cryoactivity occurs when the icy components are heated by the proximity to the sun and change directly from solid to gaseous. The sublimated gases escape from the comet's nucleus, dragging dust particles with them and forming the characteristic luminous tail that we can see from Earth. The intensity of this activity depends on the composition of the comet and its distance from the Sun. The closer the comet gets to the Sun, the more breathtaking the spectacle, its glow and the play of colors become. However, Researchers can observe comets very well with telescopes years before their actual flybys of the Earth and provide some impressive images. For example, 12P Pons Brooks was already the focus of stargazers in 2023 when something very unusual happened. The comet experienced a spectacular outburst that drastically increased its brightness and gave its coma a striking devil-like shape. The unusual horseshoe-like structure with brightly shining horns earned 12P Pons Brooks its nickname as the Devil's Comet. This change made it an even more fascinating object for astronomers and observers around the world. It will reach its greatest brightness on April 21, 2024. You don't get to see this every day. In April 2024, 12P Pons Brooks will provide a spectacle that is second to none as a brightly shining spot it will appear clearly visible for the first time together with a total solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. On this day, the new moon will move in front of the sun and completely darken it for several moments. The total solar eclipse will reach its peak 
on April 8th at 8.17 p.m. Central European Summertime near Nazas Durango in Mexico. There, the sun will disappear for 4 minutes and 29 seconds. Of course, these moments are also perfect for catching a glimpse of the cosmic visitor, 12P Pons Brooks. Jupiter helps to find the comet, which shines much brighter than any star in the night sky. So if you want to catch a glimpse of 12P Pons Brooks, all you have to do is look in the direction of the largest planet in the solar system. It will be visible just three finger widths below the planet for quite some time. The comet will slowly move towards Jupiter until the two are practically close to each other on April 13, 2024. Then, 12 P. Pons Brooks will be visible exactly below Jupiter. The coma around the comet's nucleus will glow a striking green. The comet's tail will also be clearly visible, protruding upwards and several finger widths long. Evening after evening, the comet sinks lower towards the horizon, which becomes darker and darker later and later. In many regions of the world, the comet will soon disappear from view. On April 10th, the narrow crescent moon may be a good guide to the comet, when 12 P. Pons Brooks will be visible about two finger widths below the crescent moon. However, experts disagree on how well the comet will still be visible in the light spectacle between Jupiter and the crescent moon. Those who travel to the countryside or live there and have a clearer view of the sky will have better prospects than stargazers in metropolitan areas and cities with heavy light pollution. The celestial visitor will reach its greatest brightness on April 21, 2024, when it reaches its perihelion, the closest point of its orbit to the Sun. It will then be only 0.7 AU or 117 million kilometers away from the Sun. At that point, it will be around 240 million kilometers away from Earth. However, Experts are certain that the comet will no longer be visible, at least from Germany. Its orbit will then be too close to the horizon or already below it. Will 12 P. Pons Brooks bring bad luck? For some, comets are heavenly messengers of good. For others, they are evil troublemakers. The Christmas star above the stable in Bethlehem where Jesus was born is said to have been a comet. The last comet that was accompanied by devastating events was that of the comet shoemaker Levy 9, which collided with Jupiter in July 1994. This spectacular collision, in which the comet broke into several pieces that then smashed into Jupiter's atmosphere, was the first direct observational event of an extraterrestrial collision of such magnitude. It caused huge explosions and left visible scars in the gas giant's atmosphere that could be observed for months after the event. While such events are dramatic in the solar system, According to our science, they supposedly have no direct impact on Earth or human life. The year 1994 brought us both good and bad on Earth. One of the largest genocides of our time took place in Rwanda, and just a global stone's throw away in South Africa, Nelson Mandela was elected South Africa's first black president. Who could say whether the heavenly messenger brought good or bad this year? Anyone who wants to find or believes in a connection between comets and events will probably find these clues. But on the whole, the interpretation of comets as omens or harbingers of important or catastrophic events belongs more to the world of fantasy and faith. Today, scientific research allows us to understand comets as fascinating natural phenomena that offer valuable insights into the formation of the solar system and the composition of its furthest reaches. Comets originate from the icy cold outskirts of the solar system. Many of them most likely originate from the Oort cloud, a ring of icy and rocky objects located about 50,000 AU or about 7.5 trillion kilometers outside the outermost boundaries of the solar system. It is the complex mechanisms of gravity and the interplay between the forces of our Sun and the entire sphere of our star that periodically detach objects from this cloud and then pull them towards the center of the solar system. Their paths sometimes take many years. On elliptical orbits, the comets move ring by ring and round by round closer and closer to the Sun. Some of them pass our star and the Earth once, then disappear forever. Like 12 P. Pons Brooks, many comets are periodic. They appear regularly. The most impressive regular comets include Halley's Comet and Hale-Bopp, Halley's Comet, named after the astronomer Edmund Halley, appears approximately every 76 years. It was last visible 
in 1986 and is expected to return in 2061. It is characterized by a bright, elongated dust trail that stretches away from its luminous nucleus. Hale-Bopp was last visible in 1997 and with its extraordinarily high brightness and double tail, is one of the most impressive comets ever. None of us will ever see Hale-Bopp again. Its next return is expected in about 2,500 years. Practicing for the second comet, C-2023 A3 Tushishan Atlas. Did you miss 12P Pons Brooks? Never mind. In 2024, you'll have another sensational opportunity to observe a bright comet with your own eyes. C-2023 A3 Tushishan Atlas could even surpass the spectacle by far, with an expected magnitude of zero or even minus 3.5 mag. This visitor can shine as brightly as Venus and would therefore theoretically even be visible in the daytime sky. C-2023 A3 Tushishan Atlas is celebrating a premiere because this comet is completely new. It will probably come close to the Sun for the very first time in its cometary orbit, which means that it still has a lot of ice in its luggage. Every flyby of the Sun costs the celestial messengers some of its mass, and so comets can lose luminosity over time. Will C-2023 A3 Tushishan Atlas offer us a spectacle of the century? At the end of September, it will come about as close to the Sun as the innermost planet Mercury. On its flight, it will also come much closer to us than 12P Pons Brooks. Only about 70 million kilometers away from us, we will once again be able to admire the splendor and beauty of a comet. Become a subscriber now! Great new videos are coming all the time!